Hello, thank you for joining me once again on my channel. On today's video, I shall be showing you how to download data from UNDP, which is United Nations Development Program. Essentially, how to download data from UNDP. Okay. What you need to do is to ensure you copy this web link here into your web browser. The web link here is hdr.undp.org backslash en backslash data, as you can see here. Okay. Ensure you copy into your web browser. And most importantly, ensure you are connected to an internet. As you can see here, I'm connected to my own internet. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this particular link here, okay, into my web browser and show you how to download data set from it. Okay, I'll simply launch my own browser, okay, and I'll simply paste the web link I copied into this particular web browser. Then I'll press OK. As you can see, the page is up very fast, up and running. This is where the page is. You can see other information of the choice if you want to read. Okay. However, we're interested in downloading data from this particular UNDP. So what you need to do is to come under we'll have, under this page here. We we'll have download data by indicator. As you can see, dimension. Then simply click this drop-down button here and select any data you want to download from. As you can see, we we'll have HDI, demography, education, environmental sustainability, gender, health, human security, etc. Okay, let's assume we want to download data for HDI, which is Human Development Index. So I'll click it once, then come to this section here, and also select Human Development Index, then click Submit. Look at the Submit button here. Okay, you simply click Submit. And wait for some few seconds. The data is currently loading. Yes, look at the data set here, as you can see, for different countries of the world. Okay, and you also have the current HDI ranking. As you can see, for different countries of the world, scrolling down together with the, the flag of the countries. Okay, as you can see here. Now, let us download this particular data set. You come to this right hand side of my screen here. As you can see, download data. You simply click it once. Then this page pops up. Okay, this particular page pops up. You simply click OK to open it with as Excel. Okay, simply click OK. Yes, look at the data set here. As you can see, Human Development Indicator, Dimension, Composite Indexes, Source, HDRO Calculation based on data from Udensa 2019. As you can see, the HDI with the respective countries ranking here by the side. Now let us see the latest date for this particular data asset. It's been compiled. Okay, scrolling to the right, we have the latest data set is for 2019, meaning 2020 is currently being compiled. As you can see, the latest here is for 2019. So if you are working with panel data set and you want to download different data for different countries, you can come here and download them. Let me check the HDI for my own country, Nigeria. Okay, we have um, under my own country, I will have Nigeria as one as is one in ranking. Okay, and our present HDI figure. Index figure we have as a 2019 is 0.539. Okay, you can also check for other countries of a choice and make your comparison or comparative analysis as the case may be. Scrolling down, okay, let us go back and download another data set from this particular web link here. Okay, what you need to do, you don't need to click another thing other than just click data center to go back to the first page so I can check out other data you want to download. You click this data center. Okay, clicking data center, it takes you back to original page as you can see. We we'll have data, download data by indicator. Now let's select for another indicator, maybe in this case, maybe our need, maybe health. Okay, then under the section here, you also select which one do you want to download. Is it current health expenditure by percent of GDP? Is it life expectancy at birth? Is it life expectancy at birth by female in years for male? We we'll have different forms. Okay, or one of any choice of yours you want to download. Okay, let's assume I want to download uh, life expectancy index or rather life, yeah, life expectancy index. Let's assume I want to download this particular one here. So I'll simply click select, then click submit. Okay, wait for some few seconds in loading the data. It's coming up. Yes, we'll have it here for different countries as you can see. Okay, then simply click for you to download it. We'll have it here, life expectancy index as you can see here. To download the data, come to this right hand side where you have download data. You simply click it once. This page pops up as you can see. Simply click OK. Okay, wait for some few seconds. We 
have it here life expectancy index as you can see look at the data say for life expectancy index for different countries of the world okay, remember the first one we downloaded earlier one was human development index this one is life expectancy index and it's also up to 2019 also as you can see here okay let's check out some more maybe one more let's say we'll go back to data center to go back to the first page as you can see here click data center okay then it takes you back to this page under dimension remember you simply click this drop down button you can select any one of your choice you can select maybe for education and check out the information they will have human security inequality mobility and communication poverty etc okay any one of your choice maybe in this case one download for education you simply click education Okay, then under this section here, you select what exactly under education do you want to download. We have many years of schooling, many years of schooling for female, for male, different sections, different data sets. As you can see, we have education index, we have expected years of schooling in years, expected years of schooling for female, for male. We have all the information listed out here. Okay, percentage of primary schools with access to internet and all of those. So if you are drawing any form of analysis, you can actually come here and download the data set of your choice okay as you can see me years of schooling let's say i want to download me years of schooling okay simply click submit and once you click submit wait for some few seconds it's loading the data as you can see it's currently loading yes we have the information here we have me years of schooling dimension education is dg 4.4 by 2030 okay this is the projected increment they are expecting by 2030 Want to download the data say so simply come to this section and click download data okay this page pops up once again you simply click open a few seconds we have it many years of schooling we we'll have it for different countries as you can see those some countries may not have information as regards to it at this time okay but we have for several other countries hopefully the country you are looking for might also be here and perhaps if scrolling down to the right you could see other information as you can see here okay so essentially this is how to download data from UNDP as you can see if you want to go back simply click this data center it takes you back to the page okay if there's any other information you want to read maybe HDI technical notes statistical references maybe you want to get references for what you've downloaded and all you can click here to we'll have sources of data used to have frequently asked questions perhaps the information you are looking for and you are unable to get them from this data, you can actually come here and see how to get those informations by simply clicking the frequently asked question that people have been asking around getting data or getting information from UNDP. Okay, as you can see, scrolling down, you have other information, you have the dashboard, etc. So essentially, this is how to download data from UNDP. Do not forget to come down to this download data by indicator. You click this drop down button, you select any form of data you are interested in downloading. For different countries of the world and most especially more often than not the data are always current and updated regularly okay all right so if this is the first time of coming to our channel to watch our youtube videos kindly click the subscribe button to get more video updates on how to get certain information that might be indicative and also help in your research work okay and not for do not forget to share this video with your academics or relations or friends that might need it for their research purpose Alright, thank you for watching.